now and again I'll hear a Quaker, whether this is somebody talking at yearly meeting or writing a letter to the friend, saying, oh, we need to drop the word worship. And for me, that's very difficult because from my theological understanding, I am created to worship. Like, I feel that the whole of creation has been created to worship God. And worship is about like resting in and enjoying God and God enjoying and resting in us. And that's that's what we're created for. And that worship is for me, worship is something I do with other people. And I remember tweeting about my understanding of worship and somebody replied, well, that's great. That you, that's for you. That's great. You do that. But just let other people let other people do what they want to do in worship. It's like, but I want to do it together. I want to have a shared understanding. Yeah. If I was like a Quaker, if I was a Christian shaped Quaker, you might have this idea that I'm a Quaker with my Christian beliefs and we've got the Quaker over here with their other sorts of beliefs and we all fit together in really nicely. And I think I want to highlight that tension there is between it's not a case of we're all a collection of individuals with our own individual beliefs and then we're all contained within this sort of bowl of silence. I need I don't want to be just one individual amongst a collection of individuals, each of whom do different things or believe different things. I want a sense of it being part of a shared thing. The Christian understanding of meeting for worship is that is our communion. Like we spiritually, this is how Quakers have argued um, for, yeah, within the history of Quakerism, this is how it's been argued about what Quaker communion is. Quaker communion is the spiritual feeding on Christ in our worship. I know. And the, the problem is, is that, and I think I remember that, that, that uh, whole, whole uh, thread as it went on. And I, I think my main problem is that because Quakerism, and no one can deny, is rooted in Christianity, there's no other good word for it. Nothing else will encapsulate that in a way. If you try to make secular language to work with that, secular language isn't for that. So mm -hmm. what would you do? You'd end up with something bland and something horrible. If you call it, I think I saw meeting for silence and as, yeah. a, as an alternative, and I, and, and I balked because yeah. <laughs> who's coming there for silence? For me, it's also a... Like for me, worshiping captures that we come together not really to do or achieve anything. Like I don't think meeting for worship, I think we can fall into a trap of seeing meeting for worship in a sort of instrumental way in that we come to worship in order to achieve something, um, whether that's personal transformation or, or uh, um, we, and all of those things can happen. In, I, don't, I don't want to restrict what can happen in meeting for worship. All sorts of amazing things could happen in meeting for worship, including personal transformation, transformation of the community. Um, but, I, but, but not every um, Sunday. Not every Sunday. And also Quakerism in Britain, I think, can become possessed by this idea that we exist in order to save the world. Um, and there's lots yeah. of terrible stuff going on that needs sorting out. But for me, God is God saves the world um we may participate in that work but that's not what we're created for we are not create we're not created to save the world we can we can take that burden off our shoulders we're created to enjoy god uh, we're create we're, we're created for joy so and let's so we can just chill out <laughs> and a meeting for worship doesn't have to be a sort of anxious hand-wringing about how we can save the world so i think that's also why for me naming what it is and it being worship is really important well thank you very much for watching that short clip i hope you found it interesting if you'd like please do click on the link to watch the full interview and if you haven't already please do consider liking and subscribing to find out more about quakerism in britain today thanks very much